Hello, this is Eric Ferrangi doing a short explanation video of how I'm going to have my zero wastewater RO system set up. Currently at the back of the property there is one well which is uh, feeding this holding tank. I'm going to change out that one 6,000 uh, 6, gallon tank to probably three 5,000 gallon tanks. One which will be dedicated for well water filling up with the raw untreated water. One will be dedicated for irrigation for the food forest. And the other will be dedicated for the house with RO product water. So the flow of the system will be like this. The well water will fill into the storage tank. The storage tank water will then come through a booster pump and feed to the pretreatment and ultimately to the RO system. The RO system is going to put out two streams of water. One stream which will be wastewater and that will go and feed the irrigation tank. There will be no additional salt or anything in that. And the other water will be the product water, which will fill the domestic tank. Additionally to the RO water filling the irrigation tank, we'll also have a rainwater collection system that will be pumping the water from the uh, downspouts back to this irrigation storage tank. The output from this tank is going to feed the irrigation on the property, so there'll only be a repressurization system for that. But at the same time, if for some reason there isn't enough RO water and rainwater to satisfy irrigation needs, then there'll be uh, some sensory or uh, automatic valve smart enough to uh, run some of the raw water from this storage tank into the irrigation line, thus keeping everything alive. Uh, so the domestic water is going to be, um, the only thing is, that's going to be fed by that are the two houses. So three storage tanks, three re repressurization systems, an RO, and a sump pump. Thanks.